Getting your low and mid-range price products right is crucial to the success of your sales funnel. Now, your low-priced product is the first paid-for offer that you're going to send to your list. So you want to make sure that it has lots of quality and offers outstanding value for money because that is going to set the tone for what people can expect from you as they go further down the line. So you want to use this to build up people's confidence in you, in your abilities, in the quality of your offer. Now, an ebook is the most popular choice at this level, but you could have software or an app. I guess it all depends on what your niche is and what your abilities are. But for the purposes of this video, I'm going to assume that you're going to be selling an ebook at this stage because that is the most popular choice. And if you go for an ebook, it should be well researched and well written. And you can draw on lots of different sources for this. You can use your own experiences, and that's probably the best way because you can write from a first hand experience and you can have information that people are not going to get anywhere else. You can draw on forum postings that are in niche forums. And likewise, you can also look at sites like Yahoo Answers. And you can write this book yourself or you can hire a ghostwriter to write the book for you. The ebook should be a reasonable length. Now, by reasonable, I mean 20 pages of A4 or letter size, that sort of thing. Now, really over deliver on this. The idea is that you use this to showcase how good the rest of your products are. And you want people to be pleasantly surprised at the quality of your information. So you want people to think, wow, this is really good. So that when you start sending them information about higher priced and more expensive products, they're going to think, gosh, if they can do this for such a low price, how much better is it going to be if I pay a bit more? That sort of thing. That's the sort of message that you want to send, albeit on a very subtle way. And you want to price it competitively so that people aren't put off by it being too cheap. But you also want to make sure that it's low enough so that buying it is a no-brainer for your customers. You know, sometimes if your price is too low, people will think, oh, it's going to be rubbish, I won't bother. But a high price can also put people off. So if you sell it for something like, you know, $9.95 or something similar, then that's a pretty good price because most people don't think too much about spending $10 or under ten dollars on a product now you're not looking to make much of a profit here just enough to cover your expenses and break even your profit is going to come further down the sales funnel now let's just take a look at some resources that you can use for creating your ebook if you're going to write your ebook yourself, then some good software to get is either OpenOffice from OpenOffice.org or LibreOffice from LibreOffice.org. These are software packages, office suites, basically, that are similar to Microsoft um, Office, but they are free and open source, and they will run on Windows, Mac, and Linux. And they also have the advantage of being able to create a PDF straight from within the software. If you want to outsource uh, the creation of your ebook, then a good site to look on is Freelancer, which you'll find here at freelancer.com. And at freelancer.com, you basically put your job out to tender and people bid to work on it. If your typing speed isn't particularly quick, then you might also want to look at getting Dragon Naturally Speaking, which is a voice-to-text software. It is actually quite expensive, but it's well worth getting because I'm sure, like most people, you can probably speak faster than you can type. 
and you can find out more at nuance.co.uk forward slash dragon forward slash index dot htm. And the next step along is your mid-range item. This is an item that's going to be slightly more expensive than your lower priced item. And you can actually use this as an upsell from your lower priced product. You see, once people are in a buying frame of mind and have made one purchase, it's easier to get them to make another. And a good option is a video version of your ebook. You know, this can contain the exact same information as your ebook, only in video form, or you can embellish it with additional information to add even more value. And if you're in the software niche, for example, you can write an instruction manual for a particular piece of software and then do a video demonstrating how it all works. Now, people will watch the video to see what to do, but they'll keep the ebook handy to refer to as they use the software because you have to watch a video from the beginning to the end, but you can flip through a manual or scale through an ebook in order to find the bit of information that you want. So people can watch the video, see how it's done, and then when they try it and perhaps it doesn't work properly, they can go back to the manual to easily find the information that they want. And the two can work together that way. Now, your videos should have fairly low production values. Graphics and a voiceover, screen capture and a voiceover, or a combination of both. Now let's just look at some resources that you can use to make your videos. Some of these are free, some you have to pay for, uh, but they're all ones that I've actually used personally. Some good resources for creating videos, especially uh, graphics and voiceover videos, are OpenOffice, which is openoffice.org, and LibreOffice, which is libreoffice.org, like we were discussing earlier. And I actually use LibreOffice in press to make the slides in this video. Or, of course, if you want the granddaddy of them all, you can get a subscription to Microsoft PowerPoint, which you can find out more about at products.office.com. To record the videos, probably the best screen capture software out there is Camtasia. Now, Camtasia will allow you to record from PowerPoint. It will allow you to record the screen if you're making a screen capture video. Uh, I'm using Camtasia to make this video. Um, it's not particularly cheap, but there is a 30-day free trial at the time that I'm making this video which means you have enough time to download the free trial version and it's fully working and unrestricted. And make your video, put together your product, sell it and make enough money to actually buy the full version of Camtasia. So it is actually quite a good deal that way. And you can find out more at techsmith.com forward slash camtasia.html. Another good piece of software is Active Presenter. And Active Presenter is a bit like PowerPoint and Camtasia all rolled into one. And it comes with the editing software, which is what you really need to put the videos together and make them look good, uh, which Camtasia comes with, but other screen capture software doesn't. But uh, Active Presenter does. And there are free and paid for versions of Active Presenter. I've used the free version in the past and it's perfectly adequate. And you can read more about it at atomisystems.com forward slash Active Presenter. Of course, you can always outsource the making of your video to a professional and you can find them on freelancer.com like we were talking about earlier or on the Warriors for Hire section of the Warrior Forum and you can find that at warriorforum.com forward slash warriors hyphen hire. Now, with both your low and mid-range products, offer a guarantee to remove the risk from the customer. And the longer, the better. Yep. Paradoxically, the longer the guarantee, the less likely you'll be asked for a refund. Now, you can also sell affiliate products at this level. 
purchase the product yourself to make sure that it's good. After all, it's your reputation on the line with everything that you sell. And once someone has bought your low price product, you want to remove them from the prospects mailing list and add them to the customers list. And now you can start sending them information about higher priced offerings and begin moving them down your sales funnel to areas that are going to be much more profitable for you.